I'm working on my tractor today and I wanted to show you something. The tractor is not running, so either my rings are gone or my piston's gone or there's a decompression system in here. But I wanted to show you was this camera. I bought this for safes. So I drill a little hole in the safe and I push this in. Now if there's anything in the safe, then I now I know to open it. But I've used this maybe 40 times in the last year. So all it is is a little camera with a light on it. But I use it for like everything, for plumbing where I can't see into and for this. Look at this. So I'm going I'm going into there. So I want to get far back to see the spray. I can't see it. There it is there. So the decompression on the tractor is intact. So I'd say my piston is gonna come out. So let's just go down the let's go down the spark plug hole. The walls look okay. Maybe I should turn it over a little bit just to get the piston down further. I did do the head gasket. Um, you know what? It could be the valves too. Maybe I'll maybe I'll reseat the valves. Anyways, it's not even matter. I wanted to show you the camera. It comes with like three or four feet of, of extent cable. It's a heavy. It's a, like a hard um, covered cable. So what I do is I use the drill and stick this right into a safe. So every time we find an old abandoned safe, that's all I do. Stick this down, drill it. Takes about two minutes to drill. Get this in there. Look around. See what's going on. And then I, if I see something, then I'll open the safe, um, which can be many different ways. But this camera has saved me a lot of time opening empty safes. So for 100 bucks, I think I paid 109 on sale. It's well worth it. The batteries I never replace, um, but like the image is pretty good. You know, and you can, there's, uh, there's functions, you can zoom in, you can brighten the light or dim the light. But if you need to get in somewhere uh, that you can't see, let's go in the car up here. It, it gives you that ability. Anyways, I wanted to share that with you, and there you go. I do love my tools, and this is one of them. It sits on the shelf, and when I need it, I got it. Thanks for watching.